here tell you, you know what has yet to get old? <laughs> the feeling I get when I am picking up my printed books. <laughs> there, I yeah. There's just oh man, every time it never fails. Every time I am just giddy, and that is oh man. You know when I think about the whole act your age kind of thing you know I'm supposed to be this mature adult and I'll be the first to tell you I in the last couple of days have kind of <laughs> embarrassed myself well I don't know can you be embarrassed I don't know I okay so I get really goofy, giddy, giggly, um, when I'm excited about something. I've been that way for as long as I can remember. And as I've been channeling these different characters, right, the one thing that keeps coming up, it's been three whole months, but the one thing that has kept coming up has been the idea of showing up authentically, showing up as you are, right? Or or as you want to be, as you desire to be. And in in learning to love myself unconditionally and learning to show up in the world as my authentic self I recognize that that side of me is is probably a bit much for a large percent of the population that I come into contact with I'd be tempted to say the only beings that don't mind this attitude or this reaction to things would be puppies <laughs> and babies <laughs> wait I but most most human beings of a certain age are just they're not they're not ready they are not ready but that's okay that's okay it, it is what it is so, as I talk about this month, I am channeling, or rather I'm embodying, I'm bringing to life the first character I ever wrote who makes a name for herself as a published author, and that is uh, her character's name is Sharice Sales in case you haven't been uh, reading the blog or watching the videos. So far, it has been... It's been easier than last month, for sure. I don't self that... Ooh, boy. That whole self-love thing was 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 indeed a challenge but being a successful bald published author oh I I can do that all day long uh, my bank account doesn't reflect that <laughs> because Sharice actually makes it to um, she's a she's got a publishing contract so she's traditionally published and makes it onto a couple of bestsellers lists within the first year two years of her you know book release and I love that for her and I'm gonna love it for me as well I don't know that I ever 
will want to be traditionally published because I don't write for the masses. I don't, or let me rephrase that because I honestly believe that publishers, agents, and whatnot, the folks with the money, right? They they want to tell a certain story and they want to make a certain kind of money, a certain amount of money. And therefore, you get tropes and stereotypes in fiction because that is what the publishers and the agents make money on. Right, so they want more of that. They don't necessarily want to take a chance on something that's, quote, outside the norm, non-traditional, that doesn't check all the trope boxes. For example, Fifty Shades of Grey made a gajillion dollars, and the next thing you know, you have these tropes that appear in all the fiction after that, right? And I'm saying all as an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. The awkward um, young lady almost literally falls into the lap of this rich guy with a dark secret. And a tale as old as time, they don't really like each other at first, but circumstances and such throw them together, and the next thing you know, she's signing a contract to be his sex slave. You see what I'm saying? So, in going for a traditional publishing contract, I would have to change a lot of what I write in order to attract the attention of a publisher or an agent at this point and I'm just I'm not interested in doing that I'm really not I I know oh my goodness if ever I am able to make a name for myself it's going to be because I marketed the excuse my German or I guess that's the I probably shouldn't say it that way well you know people say excuse my French is excuse my German oh wow See? Things you think about while you're flapping your gums. Anyway, excuse the language, because I'm about to curse. But in order for me to make it to my... In order for me to find my ideal audience, my ideal reader, and then to build that know, like, and trust factor with them so that they're buying my books, doing reviews, um, singing my praises, recommending my books to their friends and family. In order for me to get to that point, I have got to market the shit out of my writing. (sighs) Sharice had a team, you know, that did that for her. I have to do it myself. And so... I'm going to be redoing my website. I'm going to be redoing my marketing assets. I'm learning. I'm learning. But those are basically, you know, thumbnails on my videos, uh, my Instagram posts. All of that. All of those are going to go through a transformation. My the my current website. uh, Please check it out. So you'll have that before image burned into the back of your mind. But my current website sucks. <laughs> it it sucks. It's not engaging. It's not converting. It's not capturing anyone's attention. Uh, most of my marketing efforts at this point have not been as effective as I would like them to be. And I get that. Uh, again, you know, when you have done things bass backwards your entire life, you just don't expect that to, to change overnight, right? But I'm working on it. What's been really fun 
about becoming Sharice for 30 days is the realization my drive for improvement is back. <laughs> hit a curb there. My drive, my determination to make these changes, to grow my presence, to finally put out enough content that my ideal reader finds me is just so much stronger now and that was the whole point I needed a way to revitalize my dream and to reignite the passion that um, had me starting all this in the first place because it, it wasn't just stress that led me to uh, break away from my day gig, uh, my nine to five. It was truly a sense of, you know, I'm, I am not getting any younger and it doesn't, there doesn't seem to be anything in terms of science that's going to help me avoid uh, death, right? That's going to help me that's going to guarantee, I should say, that's going to guarantee I have enough time to do all the things that I want to do. So it was a passion to finally check certain things off my list. Call it a bucket list if you want to, but to check things off my list as far as my life is concerned that had me jumping into the deep end of being a self-published author full time. So, again, the challenge proves to do what it's supposed to do. As the girls say, it is giving what it's supposed to give. I've been trying to figure out how to use that in a video since I started hearing it. (laughs) See what I mean? Just goofy. Part of the reason for this mood is because I just picked up my latest release from the printer. Yeah, yep, yep. <sighs> so excited, so so excited. I can imagine that. Oh yes, I, I imagine uh, Sharice out and about one afternoon, just happens to meander into you know a bookstore, and she sees her book on the shelves that's it is truly (laughs) the only other time I have felt this goofy about something that I produced was when I held my daughter in my arms after she was born it's kind of that same high for me it's like oh my god baby and and that attachment you know this is something that this little miracle is something that I brought forth that it's something that I was chosen to deliver unto the world. It just makes me goofy. It just makes me goofy every time. And I imagine Cherise feeling much the same way when her first book hit the shelves. Now, she was going through some other things at the time because by then she had... Oh, okay. By then she had gotten the weave And so she was, she was feeling, she was a little distracted when her first book came out. But I still picture her distracted or not. You know, the first time you see that book with your name on it in print, (laughs) again, nothing like it.
in this in this world in this world Whew. so yes so that's how that's how things are going so far with this month's 30 day leading lady challenge I'm going to end it here so I can finish driving. I will tack on some footage though of me opening the box and sharing with you the first copy fresh out of her carrier here, fresh out of her cardboard container. But beyond that, I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to gonna call it. I hope you are well, and if you would, take a moment to comment below what's something that you've done, that you've created, that when you saw it for the first time made you just giggle with glee <laughs> do the happy dance you know whatever it is go ahead and comment that below and yes if you haven't already please subscribe remember I'm trying to be trying no remember I am working toward becoming a world-renowned self-published author this year and I need your help to do that Woo, yeah I'm babbling <laughs> some little high <laughs> from getting a book okay yes okay let's go now all right god damn it. Uh, take care we'll see you in the next one